Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehra Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get? And got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts off with d4. Bishop comes on f4. Pawn to e3. Important to take out the bishop before closing uh, the bishop's diagonal. And now we can probably develop the light square bishop. He's offering exchange. Maybe he's looking forward to an exchange. We'll first plant uh, the pawn in the right place and then we can go for bishop as well uh, offering him to take if he wants to and generally the opponent won't take and go back he comes in front and that's also completely okay we can take or develop the knight i think i can develop the knight here not looking to exchange at least for now maybe connect both the knights uh, but i have to first play queen here to stop him from doing any cheap tactics. And actually take, if he wants to take, I can exchange queens. And he doesn't want to exchange queens. That's clear from his this move. Uh, knight exchange, if he's looking forward to. He doesn't. Um, maybe I can come here is one option or just threaten the bishop that, that makes more sense just removing the bishop from here and get the other knight to exchange as well so that's not a problem okay he goes back trying to exchange let's take it Okay, the opponent also takes. Come down with the knight, maybe. Asking to exchange again. This time he does take. I can also take with the queen. Casting is possible both the sides. So, I can still hold on to it. Or just cast on the queen side. Uh, let's start off with the pawn march towards the king. Let's go forward. If knight comes here, we can still proceed further. So I'm expecting h6 now by the opponent. He doesn't play h6 nice. I can play forward. Which makes his knight vulnerable there. If he moves the knight, that's checkmate on g7. If he plays pawn forward, I can take with the knight. He has to ideally go back with the queen. That should be the only way. Yep. And now I can proceed with the pawn because I'll threaten to make it to g5. And the opponent doesn't do much over there. If he tries to take the pawn, he loses. That's checkmate. Okay, he lines up. I can probably play pawn forward first. Um, let's go back with the queen. Okay, wait. What if I take this? He takes with the queen. I take the queen, he takes my piece, and I take the knight. Or I first take the knight so that if he takes queen, I take his queen. That's also fine. I win a piece. Let's take the knight. 
Okay, takes the with the queen there. So I can take this pawn maybe. Is one idea. Oh, my knight is also hanging. So I have to save both. And the only way would be to get my queen here to defend the knight as well. Hmm, interesting. Could have gone wrong there if not careful. Now we just need to relocate this knight somewhere, maybe. Okay, agreeing, he's being aggressive there. Need to shift the knight for sure. Uh, where do I go? Castling now becomes problem. I can just get the rook more active maybe. Centralizing the rook, attacking the pawn. Defense. Need to save my knight first so that there's no threats later on. I don't see a good square for the knight for now. So let's come back, trying to reroute it somewhere. Uh, this is a bit weak, but again, he has only got queen as of now. If he tries to attack further, we can look into it as well. Okay, he takes. Can I jump in here with the knight? That attacks the queen. As I can. If he takes with the rook, he loses the rook there because queen is defending. Where does he go now? Comes there, attacking the knight twice now. Uh, where do we go? Maybe here. But after he takes the pawn, there are some weaknesses in the structure. Can I do a rook lift here? So double saviors there. Ah, pawn forward can be bad. Just saw this. Damn, I hope he doesn't see this. This can be nasty. He doesn't for now at least. Can take this for now. Probably takes the pawn first. That's how you should do actually. But if he takes this, they're okay. Okay, what do we do now? Um, take the pawn. Yeah, why not? Okay. Have to be a bit careful here. I'll get my queen over here with the ideas of exchanging some point of time, maybe give a check. Knight is still guarded, knight is guarding the d3 as well. So queen takes can be one move and then we can go up and there's no more threats there, I think. But this has come down close on time as well. So yep, let's go up. Okay, another check. I line up this time. This lineup would be nasty. Because now I'm coming with a check. Oh, that's a good move too. Not letting me give a check. Open has really played well. But now I have a check from here as well. I didn't miss. Okay, a check. And that can be made. If he goes wrong, he doesn't. I can. Ah, I have a fork. Take the queen. 
game over pulled it out okay this time it's a mate not no one saving that so yeah, a good mate at the end we analyzed uh pretty well at the end that there was a fork there uh was getting close on time but pretty much comfortable throughout as your piece up let's quickly analyze the game from computer line as well understanding what we did right what we didn't do right so starting off with d4 opponent starts with knight f6 uh i play bishop f4 here developing the bishop is important uh and then closing the diagonal by playing e3 solidifying my center as well he develops the light square bishop there i go for c3 Open plays e6, I exchange, offer him bishop exchange, which he denies. Uh, here, yes, I have to develop the knight first, that's what I do. Open plays c5 now. Uh, computer saying you can give a uh, check with the bishop. The advantage, what can be the advantage? Oh, it's changing, still changing. Asking now to take. Okay, but I took on the pawn first. He takes with the bishop. I take the bishop now, which is the right move. And then trying to exchange knights, he comes there. Computer saying still go for the knight. Uh, what is the advantage? Because if I go here, and if he tries to take this, then he loses further. Because yep, there's no not much threats. Yes, he can take this pawn and give a fork, but then I defend with the knight, and then he takes my knight. But as you see here, rook is coming on c1, and this is going to be deadly. This cannot be uh, saved without losing the queen. I think. Because if you try to just move away the queen from the harm's way, rook is coming down and you have to just save your king there and you lose the rook. The other rook is also pretty vulnerable because if knight moves, we are losing the other rook as well. And here white can simply just uh, try to make sure that uh, they can, you can either exchange queens or just castle on the king side once the queen is gone from here. A pawn sacrifice like a4 will also work so that was one right option which i could have gone with but i rather chose to uh get the knight on b3 there uh asking some questions to the bishop bishop goes back i take he takes with the queen here and i offer him knight exchange again this time he does take i take back with the queen open cancels and i started off with my pawns on the king side so that I can probably attack uh, the place where his king is most is standing now, uh, and then I proceed with h5. He doesn't respond with h6, which was I think the best move. Yes, it was. He doesn't, but plays knight to f6 instead. I go ahead. He has to play the only move, which is g6, and now I bring the queen on d4. Right move, attacking the knight. The only move the opponent had was queen to e7. Other anything else loses the game. Uh, and then I can cast on the queen side, but I thought of uh, first pushing my pawns forward. So I went with g4 with the idea of if I go g5, his knight would be trapped. He tries to line up in the center so that he can play e5. I went with the pawn ahead. Uh, oh, that's a nice save because if you come here with the knight, I have to sacrifice my rook to cause some troubles. And Or you can just block now. Oh, this is also nice. I can lose my knight, yes, and exchange some stuff. Uh, white would generally be better here, uh, 2.4, 2.5. And yes, black has to take so that there's no nothing wrong with this position. But as you see, these pawns are too much advanced. Uh, the king is pretty much blocked over there. The center pawn is hanging for now. We can castle and probably take this as well. So it's winning for uh, white, definitely. Uh, these pawns are too strong. And one of them will be definitely promoted to queen if required. Let's go back in the game where I uh, played uh, g5 and open response with e5. Uh, I took the knight first. I calculated this for some time in between because I was thinking to just move my queen away maybe. Uh, but then I thought, okay, if I take his knight and he takes my queen, then I can take his back, his queen. So he doesn't. So if this would have been also bad for the opponent nothing nothing changes much yes he can gets to have some weakness around my pawn structure i can go up or i can even castle on the queen side i don't mind this because this is still winning yes not the perfect computer line but you can definitely win this game because you are knight up uh again let's go back to the game where i 
to he takes the knight uh, he takes the pawn there tries to save the queen keep queens on the board when you are down that's what he tries to do and i uh, thought of casting as well but i rather went with uh, rook to d1 the idea was uh, if i castle now and he plays pawn forward uh, i'll lose this pawn pretty soon and after i lose it my king will not be much safe so i went with rook to d1 first he he also lines up the rook uh, i go with uh, try to find right squares for my knight he proceeds with the pawn yes i can give a threat to queen directly but i first took on the pawn he takes back and now i give the threat to queen the queen comes to the right square uh, then i line up my rook as well with the idea of uh, defending the knight yes this move is what i was worried about as i was speaking in the game as well if this then it can be tricky because uh, i will lose one, something or the other here if i go over here and he takes the knight yes i can take the queen but he also gets to take with the rook i can take the pawn uh, but then there's hardly to be chosen from both the sides if he tries to attack the pawn of course i can take another one so this will be uh, problematic because this is defended twice yes he can take on the edge pawn but uh, i can also play rook to e5 next and take this pawn so things were pretty even if this were, were was played in the game but robert didn't see that coming and uh, here i first took the rook he takes the pawn uh, i can save i can take the pawn or uh, go behind it i chose to take it here he takes back with the rook i go with queen to f3 the best move in the situation he takes the pawn there i denied queen exchange so i went back up to g3 again on the check I get the rook this time, and he plays the right move, which was f5. Now here, uh, time also started getting critical because I had 46 seconds on the clock, and opponent had 53 seconds, so hardly anything to choose between the two sides. Uh, yes, I had a rook, uh, a knight extra, but that was not able to convert into a winning position early. So I went with g5 next. He tries to expand pawns, and I saw this move uh, right after moving my knight that I can now bring my queen uh, to b3. And that's what I do in the game. That's a check. And he has to save. Uh, the best way is to play rook d5. I really thought that uh, that's a very tough move to be identified uh, by a human, I would say. Uh, here, the opponent goes to the other side. And that was mate in front from there. If he goes on the wrong side, that's mate in one uh, with the queen coming down on f7. But he... Whenever you are being given a check, you generally place your move your pieces away. Even if rook can't come here, uh, the game is in favor of white because position-wise, if you see, white is pretty strong. You can try to break through the pawn chain there. And if he tries to take, you're going down as well, maybe uh, here, maybe, with the idea of coming down to uh, h7 and checkmating. That can be one idea. Of course, we cannot go to the last rank because queen is hitting it. So I have to be careful with this as well. Uh, so things can get tricky, but here the opponent played uh, king to uh, h8, and I gave a check. I saw this later, otherwise I was going with the queen first here, with the idea of going here, but then he can probably uh, draw the game from here on, as per the computer, uh, it's a draw game. I cannot move my rook because uh, it's being uh, pinned due to king on g3. So I have to get the knight, and after I get the knight back, I can get a check from here as well. Again, I can't take because uh, this is another pin happening. I have to go down, and then he can probably give a check. I go up, and this can continue, and it's a draw. He can force me into repetition. But again, as I said, uh, it's not easy to identify when you are losing on time where to go. And I saw this uh, at the last moment that I can fork, and I did fork, uh, and he loses the queen there, uh, goes to the wrong square again and that's made so yeah uh, a nice game i enjoyed it personally uh and there was something to be taken away uh, like keep your pieces on the board or uh, try to make sure that your pawns are advanced as well this this h6 was uh the thread there which kept him uh really pissed off due to this pawn because he, ca he cannot really move his king uh the pawns cannot advance further so playing h6 was very important which he missed uh, and then I just tried to take advantage from there. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Uh, and do share with your friend circle as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'm putting in a lot of hard work uh, making these videos on a daily basis. 
uh, and your encouragement would always help. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.